Good evening. I'm Jim Axelrod. It's the most heavily guarded residence in the country, if not the world. And yet we begin tonight with a man who jumped the fence at the White House, ran across the North Lawn, and made it all the way inside the front door before he was subdued. Omar Gonzalez is the name of the man arrested inside the White House. He's a 42-year-old from Texas and was arraigned in D.C. Superior Court this afternoon. Among the charges, carrying a dangerous weapon and possession of unregistered ammunition. So how could all this happen? While the White House says tonight it has full confidence in the Secret Service, that's the question the agency is in the uncomfortable position of having to answer. We begin our coverage with Juliana Goldman. At the White House this morning, Secret Service agents walked shoulder to shoulder, combing the North Lawn and nearby areas for anything the intruder might have left behind, beyond the questions of how such an egregious security breach occurred. Last night, the president and his daughters had just left for Camp David when police say Gonzalez jumped over this part of the security fence. He ran across the lawn, up to the north portico, and through the unlocked doors before being tackled by Secret Service. The agency says Gonzalez ignored officers' commands to stop. The whole incident lasted only about 15 seconds. Staffers and reporters were still evacuated. But with sharpshooters on the roof and agents and guard dogs patrolling the lawn, the Secret Service says it is investigating why it was unable to stop Gonzalez before he got inside the White House. Secret Service officials told CBS News that it was a judgment call. Gonzalez didn't appear to have a weapon or a backpack. He was potentially mentally disturbed, and the first family was not in the building. They added that officers must balance security with access and reasonableness. Current and former officials said the agency has been sensitive to the publicity it received last year when a woman was shot and killed after she rammed her car into a White House barricade and led authorities on a chase that ended on Capitol Hill. This episode is just the latest in a string of recent security failures, including the 2012 scandal when agents were caught soliciting prostitutes ahead of the president's visit to Cartagena, Colombia. Last year, the president appointed Julia Pearson, the agency's first female director, in an effort to change the culture and restore public confidence in the agency. Director Pearson has launched a full review of the incident, as well as the broader protection protocols at the White House. And last night, the Secret Service began interviewing the agents who were on duty. The Secret Service put out a statement this evening saying they're increasing security around the White House while the agency conducts its review. And Jim, according to the complaint against Gonzalez that was read this evening, he was carrying a two and a half inch folding knife with a serrated blade in his right front pocket. Juliana, thank you.